Hello everybody, welcome to the job site. So today we are in the Spokane County Regional Animal Protection Services building. We're in one of the operating rooms. So we're putting a 24 foot long countertop in this room. We have two of the sections in place and the sink cut. The last section we're going to make a template for. The walls aren't perfectly square so that's the subject of the video. So here's what we do. We have some quarter inch MDF. This actually was quarter inch melamine, but we've cut it into four 24 inch pieces and two longer pieces. They're just under eight feet. And I've cut all those pieces about an eighth of an inch short. I'm going to pin them together and make essentially a big cookie cutter. I'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, to fasten the template together, I have these are 23 gauge half inch headless pins. That's my 23 gauge pinner. So what I'm going to do here at each one of these junctions is I'm going to shoot nine pins. Now I want to pull this flush to the front and then I'm going to shoot nine pins in here. Seven, eight, nine. That's because I don't want it to move around. So I'm going to go around and do that the whole perimeter of the frame. We'll set it on the top and then we'll cut it. All right, I've set the top or the top that we need to cut here in place up on top of the other one and I've set the template on it. I've labeled the template you can see very clearly front W for wall and left and so after I've got everything all lined up I took a red marker here along the right side that I need to cut and I marked a nice line right down the top here and the reason I used the red is because on this gray top it's hard to see a pencil line. I'm going to cut that with the jigsaw and then we'll drop it in place. It is important when you're doing this that uh, you use the correct blade. So I'm going to use this one on the right here because it has teeth that cut in the down direction. Those other two blades are up cutting blades. They would chip the laminate badly. So that blade on the right is a special blade for cutting tops. Okay, and here's the final result. So we've dropped that top in place. You can see this front where it's going to show we're nice and tight up against the wall. And our joint over here, we haven't drawn that together yet, but it looks good. We'll draw both that together. We'll set the splash on, and that'll be it for this great big long 24 foot top. That's how you make an old school template. Now I should say, if you wanna follow the back wall and there's dips in the wall, we're gonna put a four inch splash on in this case, so it'll cover, but you can, um, cut the template and follow the wall or scribe the back part to the wall and that way get it to fit it totally tight to the back wall we're putting a splash on so we didn't worry about that we just need that front part to be perfect so that's it I hope you like the video if you do give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll see you next time